Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning. Tomcat's been outside for like a half hour and doing what he likes to do best. Sunbathe. Hey, buddy. Oh, I know you look so peaceful. That's his thing. He likes to come outside every every morning, a couple hours maybe, until he gets tired. It's nice and cool out, so he's probably going to spend some extra time. No, I'm not going sluicing. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get out this year or not, unfortunately. To make a long story short, I am no longer friends with the guy that had permission to go on that private land. Reason is, is that we owned a claim together. I own 33%. And he tried selling my share of the claim, which he legally could not do. And uh, I refused to sell my share because I'm keeping that part of the claim. And he had a little, little pissy fucking party and we're no longer friends. I need the tote to put tools in. Heading off to pick and pull to get some parts for the Jeep and for the Ford. I could order them brand new online, but... Uh, Going the junker will be definitely cheaper and do the same job. Problem with the wrecker is that you never really know what tools you're going to need to take. So you take a bunch and you hope they work. Well, you're eating grass for your digestive health. I got to go get changed, Mr. Tomcats, and then you need to go inside. I know. And you probably want to stay out, but. Your human's going to be going away for a few hours. You cannot be in your kennel without your human's attention. I know. You get to go inside and eat treats and sleep now. I know. First stop is Princess Auto and no more bread lines, thank God. For whatever reason, Princess Auto no longer sells their own brand of paint. They got this bright touch. So I guess I'm going flat block now. I wish they wouldn't do that. All right, just got the pick and pull. Been here so many times, except today I blew the turn off to get in here. I don't know what the heck's going on. Oh, this is fail number two. I got all the bolts released there and I got the strut release, but didn't bring a tool to bust the steering linkage so I could tilt this back or knock this out so I can make it easier to get it out. Fuck. There's supposed to be a white Volvo here somewhere. Fuck me. So glad I was able to score this. This is the legendary fan. The Taurus fan is the same fan, but the Taurus, I don't think, unbolts from its housing like the Volvo fan does. Plus, I got the controller. I'm going to have to see how it's how you wire it up if uh, these two yellow wires are controlled by the ECM by ground. I'm going to have to do some research on that. I don't think this is part of the circuit, but I brought it along anyways. But that will indeed solve any of my cooling issues ever in the Jeep. Oh, so warm out today, I think it's time for a cold beer and have a chat. Not gonna lie, haircut is gonna be coming soon. That's for sure. Anyways, let's crack open this ice cold beer. The wrecking yard was in the sun in the open just baking however look at that crazy air all that being said i wanted to grab a front axle when i was down there too but i ran into some complications and this is where you never know what you're going to have to bring when you go to the junkyard 
A good mechanic, in my opinion, is somebody who can go to the wrecking yard and be able to be creative and get parts out with like minimal effort. And that's something that I lack on in that area. But uh, you definitely need to be creative because I just can't load up all my tools, which would make things simple. So you got to go down the rabbit hole. But I know what I need next time. And are you glad I turned the AC on, buds? I know you're not going to be so warm now. I know. You don't like the heat any more than I do. I know, butt scratches. Do you want the butt scratches? I know you do. You love the butt scratches. Hey, bud. Dumb cats. Are we cuddling? Are we? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Mr. Toms? Hmm? What are you thinking? Are you just chilling in the grass there, buds? Take a big dump in your sandbox later? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, it's supposed to rain this weekend. It would have been a perfect time to be at the junkyard now. this fan. I got it all figured out. So these two control wires actually went to a sensor or temperature sender. So this is low speed one and that's high speed. And that, according to the diagram, that sensor was grounded so i'm gonna assume those are ground too so i shouldn't have to do anything for the ls so i'm gonna test that theory using this 12 volt power supply it doesn't even have anywhere near the voltage or amps i should say but yeah i see that ground control And that's how it works. To rewire it, my Jeep's not gonna be that hard. This is my 40 amp circuit breaker. Gonna rewire to that. This is the fan control relay that works when ground is applied. So I'm gonna have to rewire the relay so ignition on is power and then run my two LS grounds right to the fan. And it looks like this shroud is put on with self-tapping screws. So, I can pull the cover off, get that old fan out, put the new one on because it is designed to be bolted. And I'm going to be a very happy camper. It was nice to get the controller with it. I'm going to wet sand this, get rid of the imperfections, and then respray it. I don't know why Princess Auto went from Power Fist to this stuff. I don't know. Don't. All right, wet sanding. The first time you hit the, the wet sandpaper on the thing, it's gonna be gonna be pretty sticky. So that's why I like to sand. Or say that's why I like to spray the sandpaper and the material first, and then just go around. And this is going to get out all the imperfections that were in there before. The orange peel and all that. Tomcats. You sense me outside, so you just want to be closer to me? Is that what you want? You're such a good boy. I just kind of quickly dried her off to to see all the orange peel. I don't need to get too crazy with this because I'm just gonna spray it with flat black anyways. Just gave that a coat of flat black. I like it. Amazon just delivered this motorcycle cooling fan but looks more like a computer cooling fan it's a pusher not a puller so it'll have to be 
Probably gonna have to mount it on the front, unfortunately. I don't know how much, how much cooling it's really gonna do. Go town cats. Yeah, not sure if it's gonna rain or not, but heading down to Aubrey's in Nanton. We're going to work on that board that we milled a little while ago in the bush, and we're gonna plane it and get it ready for my tailgate table. It's also nice to get the car out for a long rip. All these short trips in the city are not good for a diesel, so it's probably like 100 kilometers to Natton. That'd be a pretty good drive to get some heat in her. This car's probably still carboned up. So now I'm about 25 minutes from Natton. Can't believe Aubrey makes this commute every day an hour to Calgary, an hour home for work. That's just insane. Just got to Aubrey's house, he's got all sorts of stuff going on here. Wood milling, bunch of slabs there. It's making these into tables. You are the woodsman craftsman. I tried. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's turned out. That's nice. Yes. I got. Um, did I don't think the tables are quite level. Yeah. I got the little edge here. Yeah. When it comes out, so I think that. I got fine tune that. Thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh look at this, Aubrey shop here, eh? Kind of, sort of, a wood shop. So these are the boards that we had milled. Yeah, the one split. This was not wide enough. Yeah. How wide is? I guess yeah. Once it's, you it's under nine inches. Yeah, especially once you take well, off the edges. Yeah. I think it's just nine inches. Yeah. Now. But I do have this one. It's got a. And we can mill it down to an inch. Even if you mill it down flat, because once you mill it down flat, yeah, it'll be close to like an inch. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, it's long enough and it's wide that we always cut it down, right? Yeah, yeah, because we'll have to square up the edges. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so this work. is Aubrey's planer he bought. He had been looking to get one for a long time and. Uh, Jumped the gun on and got it. Now we're gonna see it in action. Rigid is a good brand name for sure. Where'd you get that midget table from? Dennis. Hey? From the school board. Oh yeah, for like little wee kids? His brother-in-law works for school board, right? Yeah. So they're throwing them out. Yeah, you put your planer on there. It'd be like the, handy, the perfect height. Let me give you a hand yeah. here, bud. Beauty. Jesus Christ, how many gauges is that? 14. Wow. 600 volt, eh? No messing around. Flip it over. So we're gonna take this. This is one Aubrey probably built like over a year or so ago when he was first practicing. You can see it's pretty warped, but we're gonna straighten that out. See, I'm just gonna dry run it first. I don't want to set the blades too deep. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a quick, quick burn here. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. It's got the little edge there, right? Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Well, no, I just my tables aren't level. I gotta fix that. But yeah, it's thick enough for table. Oh yeah. That didn't take long at all. No. Man, it looks awesome. Slide out of my table. Like that. 
Enough room to put like a couple beers on. Yeah. You're the man. I try. You can ask any man's wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now Aubrey just milled the second board. This is the board that we had originally milled when we went out cutting. But now it gives me some options. Because this one here is a good board. I may or may not use it, but we kind of squared it up. And it looks kind of normal, but this with the live edge definitely looks a little bit more rustic, eh? What do you think, Aubrey? Oh, definitely, yeah. Just got to get some. You get two options, though. Yeah, get two options to decide yeah. what I want to do. But Aubrey's the man. So I just got back from Aubrey's. And he made me that. It's pretty sweet, eh? I think Tomcat likes it. And he's kind of hiding behind it. Being invisible. Just see his tail wagging. So now that I got home and had a chance to think about it, I'm going to go with the top board with the live edge. Looks more natural. More rustic. I'm going to go with that one. Also, before I left Natten, I picked up some stain. Let's do that. But first... Let's uh, get that put on the back with all the spacers and everything else. Just got that bolted up, reprinted my spacer so it brings it out so when the table's folded up it'll go flat against there. Have a super strong stick and now setting up this part here. So I just need to cut two pieces, make them like a Z that come across the board. And then I'm going to dimple dye them, little small dimple dyes across there, spot weld them in place, and then that section will be finished. So I got my pieces, going to go an inch flange, so we're going to spot weld, and then three quarters up, and then the rest across. All right, this will be the first bend. Now this is the part that is a little bit tricky. Just trying to get this this Z. So I kind of rest it like that as best as I can and grab both handles and I kind of went over what I was supposed to but now I'm just gonna squish it in and then bend that up and then there's my Z and once those are spot welded in place you'll be able to adjust them for tension so I got my dimple die, a set that I bought from TMR Customs, local Canadian company, just sharpened my drill bit. Lots of people don't know how to sharpen drill bits, but I'll probably teach you guys one day how to do it. So I'm going to go three dimple dies and then four spot welds. And I got that special tool, or five spot welds, I should say. I got that special tool that's going to punch a perfect hole for the spot welds, so... And drill these holes and then we're gonna dimple them. So now already start to dimple die. On this one here, we're gonna have the dimple sticking out where on the backsplash we had them sticking in. And as you can see, got a nice little dimple sticking out that's going to add some effect. And then I dimple it till feel some good resistance, but no need to go crazy. Cause that's when things go boom. I think the dimples gave it a nice effect overall. This is the hole punch tool 
It's a Blue Point AT185. I don't know if it's rebranded in another brand or whatever, but that's the size of holes. So for spot welding, I'm going to use the smaller hole. So line that up. And there you have it, perfect holes for spot welding. So before I could spot weld those in, I just threw some primer on the underside so it doesn't start to rust. So after I get these pieces welded in place, I need to drill holes for these grommets because the table is going to be attached with this rope. Lots of people use wire, but in the spirit of camping, I'm going to use the rope and that's what's going to hold the tailgate table level. This stuff is rated for over a hundred pounds. So I don't have to worry about that at all. Now just got a coat of primer on there. I did spray it down with zinc primer so I could weld through it, but it made more of a mess than what it was actually worth. But I cleaned it up as best as I could. Primer and then flat black. Looking forward to getting this project done. Using the foam brush to apply my natural stain. I don't think there's anybody else out there who has cut and milled their own board for their for their tailgate table. Not that I've seen anyways. Definitely adds a nice touch. And that looks good. Holy crap, it's getting nasty out. Oh, God of fire. <laughs> and your wife's a god of gas. Whoa. And I was worried I was going to be chilly out here. <laughs> Whoa. What are you so focused on? Do you see a gill? Do you see a gill somewhere? Well, it's about mid-morning. And uh, me and Tomcat just got outside. Both of us did not get up early today at all. We're usually up at 7 a.m., but we didn't get out of bed. Well, I didn't get out of bed till like 8.30. Tomcat didn't get out of bed till like half hour ago. I think that storm last night... That shredded siding in the northeast, destroyed cars in the northeast, flooded areas, destroyed vehicles. I think all that electricity in the storm kind of, uh, maybe kind of wore us down, so to speak. However, I'm going to get back to working on this and finish it off. That turned out pretty good. I'm going to flip this over. And some people are probably going to mention why... I didn't run these completely over to the edge for more usable space for the table because obviously the table slides out and 
relies on the on these to kind of hold it in place but in all honesty theoretically this is just more more for looks instead of an actual usable platform i mean realistically i'll be able to pull out about halfway maybe a little bit more than halfway safely you know put a couple drinks on there or something just mainly for looks for some reason i got the song i believe it's called six days that was on the fast and furious tokyo drift soundtrack for some reason that song has been stuck in my head for whatever reason went down the rabbit hole on instagram and started watching some supra videos and a couple of them had that song and that's how it all starts i ran some stain on the bark but over time eventually it's just gonna fall off anyways like it did on that edge but i like it looks good so some people aren't gonna like the idea of using the rope but in my theme of camping you can never go camping without tying up tarps or using rope to tie up something so i want to keep that in the theme of my tailgate table so here it is all assembled i 3d printed a washer right there rubber grommet that goes through dimple die in the bottom magnets hold it together fold it down and then slide out the board a little bit really can only put a beer or something on there but i put the table on a slight incline going up because once you get some weight on it it'll pull on the tension on the strings and we'll flatten it out but i like the way that turned out i think that turned out awesome all right it's motherfucking beer time first beer off the tailgate table all right time to shut her down another project well done motherfucking beer time everybody I think the tailgate table turned out awesome. It's uh, definitely going to be a nice addition. Still got a few more things to work on, but one of the next projects I want to do for overlanding on my Jeep TJ is to build a custom slide out for my Dometic cooler and also have another board that slides out that I could put my camp stove on. That's what the goal is and what I plan on doing. So I'll probably maybe start on that this week. All depends on the other projects I can get done in the meantime. But it's definitely coming. Definitely coming. I hope to start heading out, camping, uh, doing some moderate wheeling with the Jeep in the next couple weeks or so. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Motherfucking beer time for being supportive. This Jeep has come a long ways. And there's lots of adventures to come in the near future and some more projects. So I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.